In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a transformation known as a shear. Okay, and we're going to investigate it using this diamond shape here. Okay, so this rhombus, uh, we have its coordinates of its corners as they're starting with from this one. So uh, minus one zero, then zero one, then one zero, and then zero negative one. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the matrix one two zero one and we're going to see what happens okay so so we're going to get uh, one two multiplying with minus one zero so negative one one two multiplying with zero one so two one two multiplying with one zero so one and one two multiplying with zero minus one which is negative two then we've got 0, 1 multiplying with each of these, which will just give me the bottom row. OK, so we started off with negative 1, 0. This has been transformed to negative 1, 0. So that has remained fixed. 0, 1 became 2, 1. So this point here has become 2, 1. So somewhere over here. One zero became one zero, so that remained fixed. So that point's still there. Zero minus one became minus two minus one. So negative two, negative one, so somewhere over here. Okay, and so our rhombus has been sheared, okay, into this uh, parallelogram. What you need to recognise is that the points that were on the x-axis have remained fixed. So the x-axis remained fixed, whereas points that weren't on the x-axis have moved. The points down here below the x-axis have moved to the left. And the points above the x-axis have moved to the right. OK? So, how do we describe this transformation? Now, this is important that you get this right. OK? So, we describe this as a shear with the x-axis fixed. And then you want to describe one coordinate that's not on the x-axis where it has moved to. So with, um, so let's choose this point here, 0, 1, moving or mapping to uh, 2, 1. So we describe it as the shear. We, uh, we identify that the x-axis has remained fixed. And we have identified a coordinate not on the x-axis moving to another point. Okay, And that describes the shear. So if you were to um, generalize this, okay, then if this was k, then this would be a shear with the x-axis fixed, with 0, 1 moving to k, 1. That would be uh, the situation that you would have. OK? So uh, what we're going to be looking at next is just seeing uh, what happens if we... So I'm going to have to erase that and just uh, do another one, I think. But we're going to have a look at 1, 0, 2, 1 next. OK, so... We we'll use the same shape. Here we are. Like so. OK. So we're now going to apply this matrix to minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, negative 1. 
So when I multiply the 1, 0 by each of these, I'm just going to get the top row, so negative 1, 0, 1, 0. 2, 1 multiplying with each of these, I'm going to get negative 2, uh, 1, 2, and negative 1. So our first point was negative 1, 0. That's being mapped to minus 1, minus 2. So this point is going to minus 1, minus 2. So somewhere down here. OK. Then 0, 1 is going to 0, 1. So that's remaining fixed. 1, 0 is going to 1, 2. So 1, 0 is going to 1, 2. So up here. OK. And then finally, 0, minus 1 is going to 0, minus 1. So this point here. So this time, our rhombus has been sheared in the other direction. So before it was sheared horizontally, now it's vertically. Okay? And notice how the points that are on the y-axis this time have remained fixed, whereas points that to the left of the y-axis have gone down and points to the right have gone up. Okay? So in order to generalise this, or to ready to describe it first, we would call this a shear with the y-axis fixed this time. And choosing a general point, so, well, a point that's not on the y-axis, rather, 1, 0, that's been mapped to 1, 2. OK, so if we were to generalise this to k, then we would have a shear with the y-axis fixed with 1, 0, moving to uh, 1k. And so that is our introduction to shears.